I'm very interested in this discussion on, on both counts, having worked uh, for many years in manufacturing uh, before coming to the House of Representatives, uh, and uh, ran into, uh, first, I, I'd like to preface my, my, my question uh, with, uh, I agree with the macro concern that uh, Professor Hanlon talked about, that a rate reduction overall is uh, certainly more beneficial in the long term, and certainly support that. But I'd like to come back into a, a manufacturing or uh, operations capital investment. Uh, question on trying to balance this out uh, inside of uh, or underneath the umbrella of strategy. Uh, I worked with many clients, uh, was discussing earlier uh, three in particular uh, before some of the bonus depreciation uh, issues came out after 9 11 uh, and in subsequent years, uh, where they were very reluctant due to market cycles to make investment in machine tool technology. Uh, other systems that would be very helpful to them. Uh, this is particularly uh, 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 smaller businesses, under $100 million manufacturing firms, but surprisingly uh, a number of my clients in the Fortune 500 uh, had that same experience uh, on a reluctance based on market cycles, particularly with shareholder expectations in the long term. And the, I, I guess the, the question that uh, I would like to uh, understand is how we address this issue of depreciation from a strategic standpoint within the long term. Bringing the rates down is certainly uh, important to me uh, from uh, both a, uh, uh, from a tax perspective, but also having this incentive for investment uh, is a bigger question. And I guess considering the long term, if we were able to work out a mechanism, and I'd like to hear thoughts uh, uh, from all of you, but specifically uh, Ms. Uh, Professor Hanlon and, uh, and Mr. Uh, Heenan on this, since you've both uh, been talking about this the most, if we were able to adjust depreciation schedules within the intent of uh, the overall tax strategy uh, that would provide the ability, knowing that the tax liability would be uh, the same to your company in the longer term, uh, but to do it on a more proportional basis. When there's a great year and the well is full of water, the, uh, the idea of let's go ahead and make this capital investment to be leaned up and uh, uh, ready for more difficult times, being able to control costs when you've got the ability to invest in those technologies, uh, knowing that there will be a down cycle eventually. I'm thinking uh, heavy manufacturing, uh, the energy industry, areas that uh, I saw uh, that were very reluctant to get involved and make these investments or say maybe if you had a great year, small $50 million company can invest in a couple of $800,000 machine tools uh, and write it off in one year. But know that they're going to take that. Certainly there'd be a lower profit, but the idea longer term uh, is that those jobs are protected and they become more competitive. Where this gets particularly uh, uh, challenging to me is looking at a lot of our international manufacturing, contrary to a lot of the politics in Washington, uh, much of, we are very robust, very strong and competitive in manufacturing, but there's still this reluctant with many of the tier one and tier two uh, producers uh, to uh, uh, make these decisions. And if they could reduce it down, say into a two, four, uh, seven year schedule, if they want to go to the longer term schedules, that's perfectly acceptable. But how would that work inside of this idea of rate reduction if we could manage that to keep things revenue neutral? And what would the impact of that be from a, a wider standpoint? Uh, j just to g get on your bonus uh, comment, make sure I understand your question. Were you saying, hey, maybe we slow down depreciation a little bit and then bring bonus in and out to help encourage investment? Well, I'm right thinking about it. Right I'm thinking time. about it. Giving the uh, what I'm talking about is a, is allowing the manufacturing company who's getting ready to make these capital investments. And I'm not talking all asset classes. I think that would be a grave error and would just totally stir up the uh, the, the tax system. But some specific areas that are very critical to to our strategic uh, manufacturing economically is that the employer would simply have the ability to pick the schedule or, or the company would pick the schedule that is most advantageous to them. And rather than have these kind of boom and bust cycles on policy, uh, have that fit into the overall tax strategy so that in a good year in one sector, say, you can make the investment that maybe a FedEx might not make based on, uh, on what they're doing uh, or, or vice versa, but within those time frames. But coming back to how you how do you, how would you work that as well with inside of the rate structure, keeping that that lower rate because of the longer term implication. Uh, if I th I think I think I understand your question. Uh, you know, just to focus on Praxair, you know, we have fairly large, as I mentioned earlier, fairly large capital projects, and these can take a couple years b before you you know you start the process and so you finally find somebody up and you and you sell and implement it, and uh, and so it's it's it, what we really need is a consistent. Uh, a process that we can follow, consistent rules, 
and frankly, bonus has not been something that's been uh, advantageous for us because we've got you know, bonuses coming and going. It's not in the in the law today. Oh, we need something, whether it's a, you know the current system or another rate schedule that we can depend on because we have sort of a long cycle time, mm -hmm. and we have to think forward two and three years and make sure that the law then is going to be the same as the law today. And if we can't, uh, as with bonus, we're not going to model that when we make when we sit around the table and we make our investment decisions. We're not going to put something and say, well, you know, they may re-up bonus in a couple years. Let's throw that in here uh, in our decision on whether. An so, so you're looking for predictability, and we're looking for predictability and you know accelerated depreciation. Been a long time uh, in, in our code, and it's in our sort of model today. Uh, bonus is not.